All right, welcome to this Valiant stream, the first ever live stream of Creature Kind. For those of you watching on TikTok, you won't, of course, be able to see the actual game, but you can do that on Steam. So if you head over there, you can see what I'm actually playing. Otherwise, you just can hear me talk. So I'll see you over there if you want to see that. Otherwise, stick around. So to everyone watching on Steam, hello, welcome to the Steam Next Fest. Uh, my name is Anna and I am an indie developer. I work at Valiant Game Studio uh, and I'm working on the game that you're going to see today called Creature Kind. So maybe we should start off by talking about Fabians, uh, introducing myself and uh, whoever else is working on this game. Uh, so yeah, my name is Anna, uh, I've been working with games for 11 years almost, uh, uh, mostly as an indie developer, uh, five years actually uh, at Valiant, uh, but I was a solo developer for two years before that. Uh, I've been a game design teacher. Uh, I've worked at Paradox uh, for three, three and a half years, uh, worked at QA. Uh, I've also done a lot of freelancing. Um, my first ever gig in the games industry was as a mocap uh, assistant. Uh, I was a, an intern at a mocap company when I was still studying at Stockholm University. Uh, so I have a degree in game design, so that's sort of where I'm from from the beginning. Um, but yeah, now I'm, I'm an indie. Uh, I'm the only full-time employee at Valiant. So I'm at the actually the only one who's employed at Valiant. Um, but I have an intern right now who's helping me out with, uh, with programming. He started just two weeks ago. Uh, so that's really cool to be able to get some, some help uh, on the coding side. So he's refactoring my code, uh, which basically means he's cleaning up all of the code and making it more neat um, than I, I did when I just put everything in there. Uh, I'm working with an artist whose name is Hannah. Uh, she has made all of the art that you're going to see in this game. Um, and I'm going to have, if all goes well, uh, a whole host of, of other freelancers that are going to help out with this game. So the thing about this game is that uh, it's not funded yet. I'm still looking at that. So um, yeah, I'm looking for a publisher. I'm looking for some kind of way to, to bring this game to the market, uh, which means that I don't actually know yet when this game is going to be launched. Um, but uh, let's hope it, uh, it solves itself sooner or later. I'm gonna try and keep an eye on the chat to see if you have any questions. Uh, for those of you on TikTok, I'm not gonna be able to see if you write anything really, um, but you know, head over to Steam and I'm gonna be able to see it hopefully. Okay, so let's have a look at this game. Uh, so like I said, this is still in, in progress, a work in progress, uh, called Creature Kind. And what this is, it's a wholesome and approachable car battler slash deck builder in which you're being kind to monsters instead of killing them. So you're gonna play as this group of teenagers who find these magical swords that you're gonna see and uh, they, uh, they realize that these swords enhance whatever abilities that you have but it turns out that these teenagers, you know, they're good at uh, sending memes and hugging and stuff like that. So they don't actually use the, the swords to fight, instead they use them uh, for their positive uh, abilities that they bring. Um, but there is an overarching narrative here as well. So even though it's a sort of car battler deck builder, it's not, uh, the base game is not necessarily a roguelike. There is actually a story that you follow, so it's more linear in that way. Um, there will, however, be a sort of Iron Man mode as well, where when you die, you die. But maybe I should stop talking and actually show you the game instead. So uh, here is right from the start, it's Riley, one of the teens. Uh, so I'm going to start a new game. Uh, so this is going to be rework a little bit, so you're going to have more like profiles rather than save slots. So that um, when you have finished the game, you can sort of keep playing on the same profile so that some of the things that you unlock, for example, uh, they will stay with you. Um, so the, the more runs you go through the game, the more stuff you're going to unlock and more. Uh, just, yeah, you, you're going to see. I'm, I'm going to explain it as we go along. Um, this is what it looks like right now. So we have save slots. Uh, I'm going to choose the empty one because why not? Uh, and of course, all of this UI is very work in progress, so don't judge me too harshly. Uh, this is just to sort of um, symbolize what it's going to be in the end. Um, because actually, uh, the way it works right now is that when you enter an encounter, you will get to choose the difficulty for that specific encounter rather than the whole experience. And we are looking right now at maybe making this more um, moddable, basically. 
so that instead of choosing these like archetypes uh, you can pick and choose like the parts of a difficulty like what can and cannot this monster do and so on uh, and the harder you make it of course also the more reports you will get and more, more points and so on uh, and but of course we also want it to be possible to play in a lower difficulty uh, in case for example i don't know if you just want to have the story or maybe you want a more accessible experience uh, and so on so we want everyone basically to be able to to play this game and play it in the way that they want to the very hardcore players and also the players who want a more accessible experience so tranquil right now uh, is a mode where you basically one shot stuff so if you just want the story just you don't want the challenge like maybe you don't feel like it or maybe it's you're playing with someone who finds it too difficult in the harder settings or you find it that way uh, wherever it might be uh, then you can choose the tranquil setting uh, yeah so uh, so yeah so you choose your your difficulty here uh, i'm gonna go with irritated because that's <laughs> the middle way and every encounter starts with the dialogue uh, so riley of course is sort of the, the main character uh, or one of the main characters uh, she's most likely always going to be the one that you start with but you're going to be able to unlock more as you go along i'm going to show you this in a second uh, so here riley is meeting ricky who is her little brother so, little brother i found a sword <laughs> oh riley that's so cool is it magical <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. I feel stronger when I hold it. Huh? Can I have it? What's up? I don't think that's a good idea, Ricky. <laughs> Why not? You're being mean. <sighs> oh no, not this again. So here's the start of the first encounter. Uh, and of What's course the up? beginning is going to be more huh? of a tutorial. And don't worry, the dialogues are work in progress as well. I'm going to hire uh, a writer who's going to help me out with the story if everything goes according to plan. So this is where you're gonna spend the you know most of your experience. So you have your cards over here. Uh, you have the people on your side and the opponents. So uh, you're gonna be, ha be able to have up to three characters on your side, uh, three teams, uh, and you're gonna be able to meet up to three opponents on the opposite side. Um, they can be humans, but usually they're gonna be monsters of some kind. Uh, one big difference between this game and other games that you might be more familiar to uh, is that HP doesn't actually mean health points, it means happiness points. Uh, so you want to fill this meter for your opponents and you don't want your own ones to be depleted. Uh, so let's see, okay. So people on my side, people on opponent's side, we have the turn order up here. Uh, another thing is that uh, you have energy, like in some other card games, and uh, you can cast as many cards as you want, as long as you don't go above your, your energy pool. Uh, you can see your deck and your discard pile. So what do I have in my deck? Okay, so a bunch of cards here. I can see them when I get them in my hand. Uh, oh, and uh, when I throw cards away, I'm going to see them in my discard pile. I can also see what cards my opponent has. But let's cast something. Okay. So some cards can give you like a negative card when you cast them next turn, for example. Um, some cards give yourself uh, HP and some give HP to your opponents. And some, in some cases you can choose between them. Um, I'm gonna take the more like expensive card, but that's also more powerful. It does give me a card next turn that I need to cast. So you're gonna see that, but... <laughs> And then I'm gonna tickle my brother because my HP is Okay, and huh? <laughs> What's up? Okay, so, uh, so as you saw, uh, I cast something and then it's the opponent's turn. And uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, so because I cast the car card that I did last time, uh, I got this self-care card in my deck this time. Um, I can choose to ignore this, um, but if I do, I would lose 40 happiness points. That's quite a lot. So I think I will, even though I already have full HP, I'm actually gonna throw that, cast that on myself. And then I'm gonna hug, because uh, now these two, of course, are too uh, expensive, so I couldn't cast those. <laughs> So yeah, my brother made me a little bit sad, 
Uh, he's not entirely happy yet. Let's see. Okay. So as you can see, like now in the beginning, the cards are kind of basic. They don't do that much like fun stuff. Um, but that's the beauty of this game, right? Because it's a deck builder, partly. Um, you will get more and more interesting cards. They so you can switch out cards they have in your deck right now, and you can put in new cards that you unlock along the way. Uh, so I'm gonna steal a little bit of my little brother's uh, energy or like his uh, power, uh, and then I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. So one thing you saw there is because I had a streak on him, I cast so many cards uh, in a row on uh, Ricky. Uh, I got a little bit of an extra boost on my card, that's why. Even though it looked like I wouldn't be able to fill up his meter, I got a little extra boost because I targeted him so much. Uh, and here is the end screen. Uh, I only got a D, that's not very good. Um, but at least it's not, you know, it's not an F. Um, this is just like, for some players it might be fun to see like how well you did and get a little bit of a score. I know some people who play I don't know, Dance Dance Revolution, stuff like that, like to get a, a score like this. And you also get a, a score, like in a number. Uh, if, uh, if I, no, now in this turn, of course, I couldn't get a reward beforehand, but um, as you will see as we go along, if you don't choose to not take your rewards, you will actually get a little extra points uh, in your total score afterwards. And so on, but you will, you will see that. Uh, but let's go to the dialogue. <laughs> Okay, you can have the sword. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Ricky. What's up? Wait, what's going on? And this is a work in progress, obviously. This whole game is, so his placeholder. This whole dialogue is placeholder, obviously. <sighs> who are you? Greetings, Ricky. I'm the deity who created that sword many centuries ago. Those days call for heroes uh, going out to save the world with a sword in hand. Today things look a, a bit different. Still the sword enhances your powers so you can keep uh, the world safe. <sighs> you mean I have to fight monsters? I think not. In fact, I sense other powers radiating from you. You have powerful love inside you. You can use your compassion to save the world rather than violence. <laughs> I mean, I can do my best. Excellent. I will conjure an app for you where you can see new missions. With the forces stirring in the world, I wouldn't be surprised if more of my swords find wielders soon. Obviously, this is a little bit of a show don't tell situation. Uh, we're going to rework all of this, of course, but uh, at least now you understand that these swords uh, have been placed by these, this deity uh, out in the world in different places across the globe. And uh, uh, when you get it, like your powers are enhanced, basically. Uh, so there are several swords across the globe, which means that there are several teenagers that you can meet along the way. Um, of course, this UI is very work in progress as well, but here you see the first uh, chapter of the game, which is Europe. So in this game, there will be six chapters, um, which basically correspond to six out of the seven uh, continents, not including Ar Antarctica. Um, because the basic idea is that you travel to all of these continents, to like you go through these chapters and you meet monsters that come from these parts of the world. So, and I didn't find enough cryptids from Antarctica, where I haven't done that, so maybe that's a DLC to come in the future, who knows. Uh, if you in the comments can tell me about monsters from Antarctica. Um, okay, so, so yeah, I finished the first encounter here, you can see that on the map. Um, it's another thing we're probably going to change in the future. Uh, we're looking more at maybe like showing the whole like progression you're going to go through, so, like in games like Slay, Slay Spire and so on, like you have the map and you can see where you're going. Um, but right now you only see like what you just did and like the options that you have right now. Uh, so I have two rewards that I can choose between, or actually I don't have to choose between them. Uh, it's a little bit hard to know, but I can actually take both if I want to. Um, so, but I'm gonna adopt a pet. Also obviously placeholder, uh, I think you can tell. Uh, so I can choose between a Valiant Hedgehog, which gives its team an HP increase, or the Fairy of the Three Forces. I don't want to get sued. Uh, and this saves its team from becoming sad once per encounter. Uh, I'm actually going to choose the Valiant Hedgehog. I kind of have to, right? It's, it's a Valiant Hedgehog. Hedgehog is sort of the, the mascot of Valiant King Studio. Now you can see that Riley here got the little hedgehog uh, unlocked. So you can see here, she has the hedgehog, you can see her deck. 
uh, so you can look through that. And when I have new teams uh, that I'm gonna lock along the way, I can you know give uh, the um, uh, the pets to other uh, other teams in my party and so on. Uh, here's the codex. Um, so when I unlock new stuff, uh, I will be able to see them here. I've only met one opponent so far. Uh, I only have only unlocked one of the teams. They're probably gonna six, be six or seven teams when the game is finished. Uh, I can see all the pets that I have unlocked. It's only one so far. All the cards and so on. So of course the goal is to unlock everything, find everything in the world. And you will not be able to do that in one playthrough. So uh, it will pay to, to play the game several times. I can also choose to duplicate a card if you want to. If, if I feel like I have a card that's like especially good and I want two of them in my deck. Um, I'm actually going to skip that because that's going to give me a little bit of an uh, increase in, uh, in score at the end of the encounter. So let's go to the next one. I still only have one team on my side. Um, I think maybe that's going to be all that's going to happen today in this stream. We'll see how far we get. But okay. Um, so now I'm meeting apparently an elite a troll, right? So uh, let's see if I can cheer this troll up. I'm gonna make this troll angry because I want a little bit more of a challenge this time. And I want a little bit more score. Lol, why are you here? What's up? I heard that you have been very active online lately. What's up? Is there anything body bothering you? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna unsubscribe to Happiness Noob? Uh, let's see if we can make this troll What's up? happy. Stop trolling online. Uh, I honestly, I honestly love the the design of this character. Uh, like I said, uh, it's uh, it's a woman called Hala who made all this art, and absolutely adore it. Uh, so this is sort of like a uh, a mix between the Swedish artist uh, John Bauer and an actual internet troll. I just I think it's brilliant. I love it. Uh, okay, let's see what cards we have. I can adjust my posture so I can block. Um, so he's gonna cast a physical card and it's gonna give me uh, minus 22. If he ca casts it on me, I don't know if he's gonna cast it on me or on him. Um, but if he casts it on me, I'm gonna lose 22 happiness. And I already have a little bit of a, a decrease from the last encounter. Uh, so I actually think that I want to block. And yeah, so you can see I'm back. Some blocking value there, and then I'm not gonna heal myself. I don't think. I think I'm gonna give him. That's a bit gross. So that means that I need to do self healing next time. Okay, so he may be a little bit tired. So all of the cards, yeah, all the cards are a little bit more uh, more expensive this time. They take more energy to cast. And now, of course, uh, this card, if I don't play this now, I'm gonna lose 40 happiness, and that's, that's quite a lot now. Um, it's gonna take all my energy, but I think actually I need to do that. But also, because I get some HP, uh, so it's not for nothing. Of course, if you have any questions, you watching on Steam, uh, feel free to put them in the chat and I will try and look over uh, when I have the chance. What's up? Alright, so let's see. Hmm, I think I will block again. Uh, I'm not gonna heal right now, I don't think. Oh, so I got vulnerable to tech cards. So if uh, the troll casts tech cards against me, uh, they're gonna have more of an effect against me. Uh, I can't remove that right now because this character doesn't have cards that can remove that kind of negative effect. Um, but I can unlock a character like that in the future. Alright, let's see. So I can make a silly face or I can just sit and listen to the troll. Um, I'm gonna take this card first and then that one. Because you can see up here, all the cards, especially uh, at least uh, the way the design of card looks like now, um, the cards actually have XP and you can level them up, so the more you use a card, the more powerful they will get, but it will also get more expensive and will cost more energy. So it's up to you to sort of decide, do you want to like have a few cards that are more expensive but also more powerful, or do you want to cast more cards that are less expensive? So it's a matter of playstyle. <laughs> Chili pepper. Oh, I'm gonna become vulnerable to physical as well. And now, yeah, I 
cast stuff is in the park, by the way. Oh, and it chilled me. That means I won't be able to <gasps> use this turn. Yeah, this is an elite, uh, elite monster, so it's a little bit tricky. No, it's blocking. It's not blocking that much, though, so it should be fine. What's up? Okay. Um. Yeah, he's got so much left, and I'm gonna cast self cannon myself. Um, 33, that's quite a lot. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna block. He does me. You <gasps> see, he's uh, giving, giving some extra effect there because that? I'm vulnerable to, to that kind of card. So, I, I don't think I mentioned actually, there are three types of cards. Uh, so, there are tech cards, there are physical cards, and there's also a type called uh, emotional cards. That's what he's going to cast next time. Uh, Riley here mostly has physical cards right now. Um, so it's, it's not going to be very clear in this playthrough, I don't think, but the way it's supposed to be is physical cards are basically tank cards. Uh, uh, tech cards are DPS cards and emotional cards are uh, healing cards. Uh, so different characters would have different like setups that have more or less are of different cards. Of course, you would also be able to choose the emphasis that a character will have direction they will go in but they will sort of have a still have a sort of focus uh, so they will have a distinct taste and sort of distinct um, direction all the characters that you unlock uh, so right now of course Riley is the only one here but the, the as you progress uh, you will unlock more characters and they will be able to affect each other more so you sort of need to understand how they interact with each other to be truly successful uh, yeah so let's see um, I'm gonna embrace him with open arms, <laughs> and then I think, um, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna block this time. I'm just going for the <laughs> some extra. Time. Um, vulnerable to all of the card types. What's up? All right, all right. Uh, so for giving a foot massage, that's actually quite a bit of happiness. So I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this happiness. That means I'm making it awesome. Not a super good score this time either, but yeah, you know, good enough. And it was a uh, harder difficulty. Uh, but I got a little bit of an extra bonus because I didn't take both of the rewards between the encounters. So yeah, uh, let's go to dialogue and see what is this. You're right, I get too angry. I don't know, it's just easy to be mean online. What's up? Why were you angry? <sighs> Wouldn't you be if stupid humans dumped their trash in your home all the time? What's up? You're right, that's bad. I'll try to fix it. <laughs> awesome. Chat later, King. Alright. So, let's see. Uh, I have the next encounter. I can get a new card or I can make a card cheaper. And I can make my cheaper, I actually don't have to choose. So I'm gonna take a new card actually. And because I choose the, chose the, the angry difficulty last time, I get four cards to choose between. Had I chosen a, a lower difficulty, I wouldn't have as many choices here. So I can now sort of um, make more informed choices about where I want my deck to go. Mm, I can retaliate. Uh, I can focus. Oh, right, yeah, I can. Uh, sorry, I can uh, draw attention. So, um, basically, taunt is the word I'm looking for. I uh, can uh, release a charge. I can. So, uh, if all teams are charging at the same time, I release a charge or a burst. Uh, this isn't really gonna work yet because I only have one team. Like, it's not gonna be so powerful yet. Um, Triple effect if a target is vulnerable to this type. That's a really good card. However, I can't make monsters vulnerable yet. Some, you know, I have some inside information, of course, because I made this game. But I'm gonna wait with those actually. Um, I think I'm gonna choose to retaliate card. This is just the only option so far. And I'm gonna make this card cheaper. And there's a special card that I usually do this with in the beginning that is uh, stealing power because then I can just like, keep stealing power from them, making myself more powerful and less, less powerful. 
Alright, so this time I have oh, a vampire and a beast that is a minion to the vampire. Okay, I'm gonna look at maybe. I'm gonna make this one angry as well. No. Whoa, this mm. me. Alas, such misfortune. Surely there is no greater sorrow than mine. Just a little bit more. <gasps> What's wrong? Mm. Leave me alone. I wish not to speak to a soul. <gasps> Please, let me help you. If you do not leave, I shall have to make you. What's up? Mm. Alright. So, um... This is something that you would have to figure out yourself, um, but I'm gonna tell you. Uh, so the minion will always try to help its uh, like its monster. So uh, like if you don't take care of the minion first, uh, it's gonna just make the whole encounter a little bit more difficult. Uh, let's actually show first. Let, let's do it the wrong way first. Um, so I'm gonna put this in the last. <laughs> and uh, I had a lot of blocking cards. So just gonna block. Hmm. Hmm. Since I salt a little bit, it's gonna make myself oh. sad. Hmm. I'm just gonna block. <laughs> so you can see, yeah. It made Vlad even more sad, so. What's that? So the goal of this, uh, this little bat, the vampiric bat, is to make the vampire sad. Um, but I'm gonna steal some because it's, this card is actually free now. Uh, so I'm gonna steal some power from this little bat. Um, then I'm gonna this little bat. And I have one more. I have lost a little bit of HP. But I don't wanna play it safe. I actually want to take care of this bat. So I'm gonna let's see what happens. Okay, so he's gonna block. That's good. That's good. So maybe I'm gonna be. Turn. What's up? Live to be happy another turn. So I lost a card because uh, of the card that I uh, played last time. Um, so he's blocking 23. That means I won't be able to do anything against him this time. Uh, because the only card that I have that's towards an opponent is just 21. So I'm gonna heal a little bit this turn. Yeah. I get a full HP, so that's nice. Uh, um, I'm actually gonna cast it anyway, just to get the XP, but yeah, I can do an effect. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh. What's up? Hmm. So three, so I'm gonna be able to cast this card. I know that I'm gonna cast that one. Uh, and it's gonna be one of those. And these two are very similar. I should probably remove one of them from my deck when I'm given a chance. Um, but I know that he will likely cast on me this turn, so I think I want to retaliate. Uh, so I'm gonna count. <laughs> Normal card, and then retaliate card. Uh. See, I'm charging up a little bit here. Of course, all of the. <laughs> Visual effects is uh, work in progress as well. Obviously. No! <laughs> oh, I froze me. Can you play it? It's so sad, this one. Oh. What's up? Oh, I really want to make him happy. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna embrace him with open arms, even though it gives me self-care next turn. Because <laughs> I've, I've lost some HP anyway, so I wouldn't mind. Actually, I'm gonna make him happy this time. <laughs> because of the streak. So let's go. See? Mm, could have been better, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Thank you for cheering me up. I do feel better. <gasps> you seem so sad. What's bothering you? <laughs> My oh. castle is falling apart. I think it's all the pollution in the air. What's up? What can I do to help you? Uh. Can you make a human see that they are destroying my home? What's up? I will do my best. <laughs> Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Alright. Okay, so. Boss. The next encounter is a boss. That's cool. Alright. 
so I can choose to adopt a pet or remove a card. Like I said in this encounter, I think I'm actually going to remove a card because you have two that's so are so similar. I'm going to remove the one with least, least XP. I'm going to adopt a pet. Uh, time down to increase her card effects. That's not bad. But its team has less than 20% happiness. And cards get increased. Okay. Um, I mean, always getting 10 sounds better, right? So I'm gonna go with that. Boss. Okay. Let's see what this is. Um, this is a boss. Let's try with Furious. Let's see if I can manage that. Oh no, it's placeholder man. I actually had someone suggest that I should like when we have the final art for for these characters, like it should say like stock on his t-shirt, like like band logo, or like face holder, like that was a band. Uh, we'll see if I do that. Right, it's time to come home. <coughs> this troll creep has gone on for quite long now. <sighs> but Dad, I need to help all these creatures. <laughs> for our game, ready? So the way this, the score in this game is going to work. Um, you meet monsters on all the continents, but there's always a boss fight at the end of it, and that's going to be a human. Uh, it could be an adult, like um, a parent of the teens that you have, or it could be politicians, um, and so on. So like I said, there is an overarching narrative, uh, and it has something to do with trying to fix the overarching problem, rather than just like uh, helping individual monsters. So yeah, you're going to have to talk to politicians and world leaders. Uh, okay, I'm gonna start by stealing some, uh, some power from him. Mm. I think I'm gonna fist him. So you can see, because this is on the hardest difficulty, he uh, like all physical cards have a decreased effect against him. Um, so the, that makes me a little bit less uh, powerful against him. But let's see if I manage anyway. <coughs> he also has a focus, which is he has a focus on physical cards. So whenever he casts physical cards now, they're gonna be more powerful. And he just did that two times in a row. Um, well, what's up? That's a whole lot. Because um, you can always see like what type you're gonna throw next turn or cast on you next turn. Uh, and he had chosen physical. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of low on happiness now. Um, I kind of feel like I have to power pose and block. I couldn't actually heal myself, but... Um, and I keep using words like heal, even though it's not technically like damage. Um, it's just easier to use the that kind of numbing glitter. It's actually been a big challenge in this game, because it's, it's non-violent, but basically all games have to do with violence and like... Uh, damage and killing and so on, so it's been <laughs> very interesting to try and find a language that is not violent. Basically you have to redo everything from the beginning. Everything you know we need to, to question. Um, Alright, let's see. Um, I'm gonna return. <laughs> I'm going to do all that I can, I think. And now I'm going to choose this card because it has more XP, so I think it might actually level up this time. Yeah. So it's level 2, which made it uh, more expensive, but also more powerful. cast three cards next turn. It's gonna hurt. Um, I think I'm gonna block. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> I should be able to survive it at least. Okay, so cast him himself. That's <coughs> To put on a fedora, which gives him more happiness. 
what's so it's up? it's gonna be harder to make him happy. I'm, I'm very funny. Uh, I'm gonna do some self-care um, because I really need that, that happiness. Um, Right, and you can see also like in the diff hard difficulties, you don't get the sort of overlay. <laughs> I'm just pointed at the screen, but you're not going to be able to see that. You don't get the overlay on the HP bars, uh, which is getting lower difficulties. So you get like less health as, as well from the game. Um, so like uh, when I like, cover the cards, I won't see how much effect it's going to give me. And I love the card. <coughs> So this is my leveled up card. Um, let's cast that. <coughs> Fairly okay. Oh jeez, this is gonna cast a card. Seven. Well, that's gonna one-shot me. I don't know if he's gonna cast it on me though. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have done anything on him. Okay, I'm gonna get up. I'm barely gonna be able to. <coughs> Okay, so he gave uh, that to himself. Okay, that's that's good. Good, good, good. What's up? <sighs> We're stealing some power. Um, <coughs> so I'm, gonna bit, bit. I'm just gonna put it in as much as possible. What's up, Chris? Oh no. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> What's up? <sighs> I can do anything against him, I'm just gonna block. That's the only thing I can do. What's up? Oh, he's so sad again. Oh, god damn it. <coughs> As you can see, I, I retaliated there. <sighs> What's up? Okay, I'm gonna practice some self care. <laughs> oh, I should have stolen some. <clears throat> so, as you will see, um, the hard difficulty, the like, longer the encounters usually get. Uh, we, we of course need to balance this uh, because it should always be interesting. Um, it shouldn't be too grindy. Um, <coughs> and, uh, that card would really, really power. <coughs> this is close again. Okay. <sighs> I'm also <coughs> <very sad. sighs> What's up? Oh Jesus. Okay, self-care. Ah <laughs> 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 oh, crap. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. I can't even play my own game. But that's good. Now you know what it can look like. And how hard it can be on the hardest difficulty. I'm gonna play on a much more <coughs> easy difficulty this time just to show you the difference. <coughs> oh, <sighs> skip the dialogue. What's up? <coughs> uh, Alright, let's see. Uh, Making significantly less yeah, <coughs> effect on me now. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Almost one shot of all. So significantly, uh, yeah, well, I got a, an S for that. Thank you. Uh, significantly less difficult on the, on the second lowest difficulty. Um, okay, now let's get to the dialogue, but it doesn't matter. Um, 
So now I basically finished the first chapter, which was Europe. Um, and now I'm moving on to Asia. And that means that I can unlock a new team. So basically Europe is going to be the tutorial area. Uh, hopefully it's going to be relatively easy to get through and um, much more than it was today. It's going to explain the mechanics and so on. So you're going to be able to get into the game this uh, And now I'm going to show you how it happens now when you recruit someone. <laughs> Oh, look, is this? Hey, Yui. Uh -huh. you What's sword? up? Yeah, it seems like we've been chosen to say the wrong these words. <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone. What's up? I don't think you have to. Does it affect you somehow? <laughs> yeah, I feel like my empathy is in steroids. <laughs> um, that's how I'll do it. Where I can change, uh, can help monsters instead of fighting them. <laughs> Sounds good to me. When do we begin? So I was thinking I'm actually not going to play this uh, chapter because I have six dreams this week and there are six chapters. Uh, so I think that's kind of nice. Uh, I'm going to take one per day. Um, but I still want to show you uh, what it looks like. So let's <gasps> just, uh, skip the dialogue so I don't spoil it. Ohio. But now here you have two characters on your side. So now it's Yui's turn. Uh, then it's going to be uh, Baramanu, who is sort of a kind of yeti type uh, from the Pakistan area. And then it's going to be Riley's turn. So you sort of switch between these two characters. Uh, and sometimes, like I said, um, as you have already seen with uh, the vampire, there are going to be several monsters on the opposite side, of course, as well. Uh, you can have up to three on your side. Uh, so the, you will be able to unlock more characters than that, but you will be able to, to choose which ones are going to be in your encounter. And since they are going to be good at uh, certain things, like different things, you uh, need to sort of match them with each other, so you don't just have like healer type characters uh, and so on. And that's going to be up to you, and it's also going to be up to you to um, optimize your decks as much as possible. Uh, but yes, that's basically what I wanted to show you today. Um, two chapters, we still have four to go, so that's going to be... Well, we have five to go because we didn't actually finish this one. Uh, so that's going to be the rest of this week. Uh, but to iterate, um, I'm the only like full-time employee working on this game. It's a very small studio. Um, but I have a, an artist who's made all the art. Like, the UI, of course, here is a very work in progress. It's going to be a placeholder. But for all of the characters and the monsters and backgrounds and everything, um, that's made by an artist called Hannah. Uh, I have an intern right now working with me, he's helping me out with the code. Uh, and I hope to be able to work with a bunch of other freelancers, like writer and so on, composers for the music, etc. Um, but that all depends on whether or not I manage to find a publisher. Uh, I'm still in discussions with several, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll see what comes out of that. Um, it's, it's, a, it's been a process and it's been ongoing, so we'll see when the game is out. Basically, uh, if you like what you saw today, then I would really appreciate if you would wish this game. It actually, really, really helps. So um, that would mean a lot if you do that. And you know, follow on social media. I'm mostly active on TikTok. Uh, you already know that if you're watching the TikTok live stream. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Uh, if you're watching on Steam, um, then please go follow uh, on TikTok or on Instagram or. Twitter or Facebook. I think that's the social media that I have. Uh, mostly TikTok. Um, uh, and yeah, uh, thank you so much for joining today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I can't remember what time. Maybe it was same time tomorrow. Let's see. No, it's a little bit later. It's gonna be five um, o'clock in my time zone, so two two hours later than it was today. Uh, so yeah, take care until then. Bye.